Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Shia. Welcome back to Vani Show. And Vani Show ke episode seven mara saathu ko midani as you can see. Hamad ke guest mein se bhi bhi mara. Yeah, Misha, I think we are taking it in a different direction. Also, a Bahu episode of Vati. And the episode of the day, we show in the show and we will reflect on the discussion. Yeah, so guess let's introduce yourself. Hi, um, I'm Abza. I'm 18 years old. Hi, guys. My name is Tamil. I am 18 years old as well. Hi, guys. All right, welcome to the show. Me, they could not give some of one show, but I'm a typical in the case. And me, me, only me, me showing me Fenigan the Kankama, me showing the Kadin Kankama behavior. As I said, what a discussion it could be again. It's like a recap. All right, so for the most of all, a for the episode of behavior, which is about which is about gender stereotypes. So in light of that what are the most ridiculous stereotypes you ever heard about okay so um for us like angen kujaviya bera gosole karnuane bera gosole nya a you know gos kongole angen kujake but freehan kujindiya yeah you know that's normal um me personally i feel like um in terms of weight gain angen kuding Now, before and any what about the responsibility occurs to keep their body in check uh, in the eyes of the society, and I feel like that's a pretty ridiculous um, gender norm that's been normalized in the society. I totally agree. Then, when it comes to ridiculous gender norms, the wife that Cairo, I want to ask something. Do you think women are subject to stricter societal expectations than men? Yes, I actually agree because um, sometimes um, it's uh, the society feels that sometimes uh, women need to uh, women have a specific goal, like set goal in their life to get married before they're twenty-five, have kids, and look after their kids, and they don't have a lot of freedom to go and pursue what they want to do most of the time. And I'm um, continuing from that part. But um, if, if like there's a problem with a child or anything, it's always the mother's fault for some reason. Like coding, rang ala border no kuriye, mama mihe ne gengulone. It's more so than the father. It's the mother's fault most of the time. So that's also like stricter standards. Then bala la episode two. Then episode two ka har mein bala the decision making ka decision making series ko nagan chhe ne kisi ka maar decision ne make pura decision me kaam ka. And I'm gonna be asking you the same question I asked Shia. If you were to make a decision, how many kind of choice so hoti? Would you go for nine to five or freelance? Um, just like Shia, I'd have like such a huge, long thought process throughout the whole thing, and like think of so many different scenarios of how, what, what would happen, and everything. I don't think I could make that decision instantly. Um, me personally, I really like having stability in my life. Uh, I really like the um, having a set working time and having a set salary, so I can plan everything around it. So it will be easier to plan out the days and the weeks and the months and everything. So that's me personally. I feel like I'm more of a nine to five guy. All right, talking about an addiction like this, do you have any experiences where subconsciously we are DC model apply to a kind of addiction? Or decision to make, or to make a current DC model apply to a kind of addiction? Me personally. Um, uh, I only heard about the three C model from this show, so I really have to thank you guys for it. So um, I really don't think um, I have really used the three C model, but I will be sure to use it now. So it's like you? a very efficient method. Um, I feel like I do use it subconsciously, but not knowing that it's the three C model. Maybe like. Coming on the show itself, like when I first got asked, I was like, "Oh, do I really want to do this It's out of my comfort zone?" But I was like, "Okay, like I might enjoy this experience. It might 
like help me get out of that comfort zone and yeah so i feel like i thought about the whole process and how it would go and like what outcomes i could get from it and so then i just came to the conclusion okay i'll do this like i'll think about the rest later talking about the 3c model and your experiences even the first experience where you thought maybe 3c model like puri nama i would have had a different outcome me maybe like small things like going out with friends on a weekend when you know you have an assignment to you the next week and then oh, yeah, it comes around okay. and you're like oh i should have thought about that <laughs> yes okay or par to the week for so episode 3 of the month yeah so episode 3 was about leadership right? I'm a hard to be in the industry. I'll ask you a question. Hey, hold a timer. You go say what you say. Ten seconds. There you go. Inspirational Maldivian female leader. Abi. My mother. Okay. My grandma. My mother. My grandmother. My grandmother. What do you think is the most important quality a female leader should have? Being able to go forward, having the patience to go against all the discriminations and all the obstacles that you have to face as a female person in this society. I feel like having the courage to do that is the most important thing. Courage. I feel like having a sense of assertiveness is very important as well um not giving in to what everyone says but also not being so hard and like harukashi that you don't take others opinions into account i feel like being assertive is really important uh when it comes to leadership those are great qualities yeah you see my own mom is scripture getting this oh that is very that is very nice Okay so moving on uh what are some of the challenges faced by women in becoming leaders and how do we address them Yeah I feel like um in terms of like politics and um in cases like that most of the time when it comes down to voting and everything the campaigning the backing that you get the financial backing the social norm like the mindset that people have is males will be better leaders so because of that normalized mindset that we have eventually the votes go to the male opponent but if for us i feel like we can spread the word and normalize the fact that females can and are equal leaders and we should choose not based on the gender but based on their capability Yeah, I feel like I could follow up on that. Actually, um the point she made about having a political backing for female leaders it's very important. I feel like that could be a really big step to changing the percentage of male to female um politicians in this country. Uh I feel like it really comes down to how much backing you get, how much um uh social uh um tarhib, I guess. it's very important um therefore we need to change the sociological outlook on w- for women uh, in power so i guess that's very important i am glad that you both are trying to make a difference because our mentality mentality hama some for the two us way um for age me hum ge me in the karne ge aage des and then i think we have hope and yukshu is definitely right so we have hope. and that sums up episode 3 and hinga do episode 4 yeddama dengo the networking na be episode so 4 how has networking helped you in your life hey, okay school the school da uruga vso in any other situation yes yeah and yeah i feel like um in terms of academics for me i am um, it's really helped a lot um as we know not every student is good at every subject so if i need to clarify a doubt i can just uh, call one person that i know is good in that subject and like we could like share information help each other i guess that has really helped me 
in my life. Getting to the, the opportunity to come on this show was also because of networking. Like if I hadn't known Rafa, I don't think I would have gotten the opportunity. So yeah, I feel like in terms of that, um, but also um, like. in school like applying for posts and stuff that also has a lot to do with networking um while well, campaigning you need to go to people and yeah, things like that so what a network all that gets to me in part of it and have you ever helped someone network nora anyone called you come say me to go on with for any yes definitely um i felt like i i felt very adulty when people do that um, but yeah um most of the time it's something related to a divahi word or something and then i'll be like oh okay i'll just ask my mom or something <laughs> but yeah in situations like that i feel very adulty as for this one kuri sababa ki because networking goes both ways kana yeah it's not just you are getting a benefit of a situation how much someone else can benefit from the help you give as well yep jumping on to episode 5 yaar episode 5 ga harma bala le keriya it was kura ne gota wadifa ka ne play kura ru bisna me ka episode mein give swal karu pure kuda you hana ta ka lage one personal secretary to the director female single 5 feet 2 inches good looking fluent in english should be able to correspond via mail computer literate salary negotiable completed a level minimum c pass in english me raj jeg kon yakun kok kon yula what are your thoughts about this it's definitely makes me angry but at the same time i feel like it's also nothing new sadly like kamati fihar tak ho guys మీహకు సేట్ మీహకు హోదీతి కాంబాలేండి the height and everything is there i mean i mean there there are some good qualities that they are looking for but other than that this is just completely i mean if if i were to show up at this interview i'll be like what's your height are you good looking uh, yeah i mean this is completely ridiculous what, what i can't is? believe this exists <laughs> yeah i height ta good looks ta single so yeah why does it matter to us do ba kan apply kura ero well me was badal kura jefa in comment to me ni gabul kura gabul kura this is just ridiculous well moving on so have you guys decided on which career you want or has this episode helped you ever swara ka career decide kura ne kotha kaam eto I mean it really did like right after I watched the episode I went and did a quiz on career options um I I I found journalist as one of it I I'm, I'm actually I might consider it very nice yeah um what I found was really interesting was in that episode um uh, I don't remember the person's name but he explained what a CV was and the components of a CV I never heard that well, and yeah, I feel I, like that's very important information that many of us don't know actually when we are applying for job I I I thought it was really weird that we haven't heard about it until this point when we're at the age where we should know what stuff like this is and it was really surprising to be honest like when i realized that oh my god i've never even heard of this before like how do i do this well that's the whole point of one and we are trying how to bring awareness some kind of come up then me the episode 6 episode 6 ga me badi anghena wazifa ga bazar ga harakate ro ko ki ko kama then rangalo financial management ga ki kama in the suratama earning and spend kuri konchaka konkama ka and is there any spending that you regret I don't think it would count as much of an earning but um the first amount of money I got was a present from that I got from one of my aunts and it was uh like 
a hundred rupee, I think. And at the time, uh, one of my favorite shows had uh, the latest season out, so I wanted to binge watch it. So I just bought a lot of food for for the money I got, and I regret it to this day. Yeah, me too. With the um, first amount of money I got, it was a present, but um, I spent it almost more than half of it on buying food to watch movies with my cousins. And I don't think that's a very efficient way to spend money, so I wish I'd saved it up now. But yeah. Digo Tang, I also have a story that he gets to go guys. Hey, all the while, hey, those called home testing on the do it. Madam, I'm testing on the am. Me, my mom would give like a hundred rupees. So I'm without fail home testing it during a day. Then I remember, I remember found that the bio MCQ and a day. Oh, it was. एक वाले दो के पूरी ही रहेगा हम हंड्रेड ऑफ़ एक नवर हम उफ़ा दो ठीक है दिल्ली में होना है यूज़ुअल फॉर मी तो अम्म ओके हमारा का थैंक यू है बोलने को दी बताने को बोले मी के फ़ोन दर्द पड़ा कैसे उस तारे बिदेने बिन जहे नहीं मासिक कोंगे ने हो आई रिक्लेटेड पूरी है जब बिकॉज़ कम मेर साब मेरी इन्हें आई डिडेड सेव इन बिस मरा का हम वारा बीच चेक मेड कॉलम में के मम्मा वारा दुराला प्लान को के इन नंदिंग के या बट आई थिंक दैट्स गुड पेरेंटिंग ये एपिसोड का आदि इन्हें हाइलर को लाफ आम के नुक वर्क को से लेके तुम के इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ़ इस सो व्हाट आर योर थॉट्स ऑन इट या आई फील लाइक आम के नु Workforce and Nikutum are more important because uh, we really don't know what women can bring to the table. I feel like it's uh, really important to bear with current the genders with, so that we can get the most out of whatever we were, we are doing, um, be it any career. I feel like inclusion of both genders is very important. Um, oh, adding on to what Thomas said, we don't really know what women can bring to the table. I feel like. That statement is only tr- true because women don't have enough opportunities to be able to bring things on the table. So I feel like this conversation needs to happen, and for us to have more opportunities in the future. As you guys know, Michelle, that our primary target audience are women and girls. So as a girl, do you think our this show has helped you? What are your thoughts about this show, Abhi? It's definitely helped me and I feel like it's motivated me a lot and um I've learned quite a few things as well and I'm honestly so happy that the show exists because I feel like things like this need is what will carry our society forward. So, yes, thank you. And as a boy, as a man, Meaning, if this woman or man is the same as the other, where you can become a better person, a better feminist, or anything. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. Um, I believe it has really opened my eyes to a lot of issues that uh, women in the society are facing that we are completely oblivious to. And I feel like this show is a really important step in tackling such um, problems that are in our society. And this is a very important thing that. Uh, We need to do. But sadly, me show that he is not the mama that we are looking for. And me love that the mama that is not the same. And she am going to believe that he, I'm going to do the most that I'm going to pull out the fast for the challenge. So, I come on, I am going to do life to pull it. I am going to be a very good athlete. And I am going to be sure that this is going to be a very good thing. बारे बावल इंस्पिरेशन ने गोता लाइक एमी हम हम देख के वाह के तरह नागा गाने इस पर अधिक कम में आंखें ने कोई एमी कुरियर दाम बैन हुआ रहूँ बको कुरियर दाम की बर लेकिन आई वांट टू थैंक यू बोल फॉर जॉइनिंग अस दिस एपिसोड एंड थैंक यू ऑडियंस फॉर एंगेजिंग इट इस एम हम वेरी � We really appreciate all the comments that you have given us. Kuriya, Kuriya episode stuck up with. We hope me episode of this time we have fruitful conversations. Kuriya, there were comments that got back up. And that's it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good time. Well, 
ekko viyumuga kure bai bunuga kure we have something for you guys a final message that we want you to remember anghen kuden nole ana mihena anghen kuden nukura ana mikame anghenun ehen anghenun mihen mikala eppes waken adu naha kame kura hibanya ekame kurum vi benum mani passion kurimati dum isne you decide your own fate but make sure tinaga decisions taku ke consequences taka me du rangala visna funu ne decisions nunaga එකමක මිස්ටේක්ස් වෙස් හැදෙන්නේ නැහැ. නුජේ කොම්මෙන් ෆොරතම් ෆාර් එක්කොල් රඟලවාකම් වෙස්. we learn from our mistakes. ඉතුර නෙංගෙන්න මීහුම් කැරි අහම් වෙ. හෙල්ප් අන් එදෙම් වෙ. එකක වනෙකකන් හෙල්ප් වෙවෙන බයකක් වම්. මුච් තමය ෆෑදා හොරි මීහක වෙවේතො මසෙක් එක්ක කරමු. ඉන්ඩිපෙන්ඩන්ට් කොන් උලෙවේ රෙස්පොන්සිබල් මීහක වම්. ඒරෝ වාන් එන් වෙස් කමෙන් මොන්න. always keep telling yourself that you can do, do it timaya muwan evs comment on not wane ahanna wane timaya beswa